Let's get going. <clears throat> Does it seem as though she's acting a bit strange? Yeah, but let's leave her be for the moment. She's acting super sus. <laughs> I don't, I don't trust it. Treasure located. Sit. Sit. I'm kind of curious how strong the monsters are. Bring it on. Twenty-three. Okay, that's not that bad. Get back. It's down. I thought they would be stronger. Assist. Very well. But... I'm perfectly fine with this. Ah, uh, it's down. It's mine. I lend it. Ah. It's my turn. Behold. I want new Is weapons. Is that all? Though. That's what I'm. I really want right now. Uh, Ursula, feel that's our camp. Let's go this way. We're gonna explore this whole highway so we can we don't miss anything. This is bad. Ow. I shall go. Um, Begin retreat. We don't gotta go that way. Okay. I'm just exploring. Gosh, you don't gotta get uh, antsy at me. Do you know something about those ruins in the water? Oh, yeah. The locals call it the Happily Ever After Shrine. They say that couples who say their vows here will be together forever. Yes, very romantic. You don't actually understand, <laughs> do you? Is this a fishing spot? This is a fishing spot. There. I don't. Got I don't a bite. Want to, though. Got away. All right. Heading into Crossbell. <sighs> it finally feels like I'm home. <laughs> God, I'm so happy to see Crossbell. Like, I've just been wanting to visit this place for so damn long. Crossbell Central Square. There are a lot of new buildings here. It's quite different from Heimdall. Orcus Tower is particularly impressive. There may be plenty of new buildings, but we've got a lot of historic ones too. Since Erebonia and Calvard used to govern this place together, it's got influences from both countries. I imagine so. That large bell there is rather impressive too. So basically, Erebonia and Calvard, since uh, Crossbell was in the, the middle of them, they used to share govern it, but then when war broke out, they fought for this area, and Erebonia won. And there are quite a few orbital cars on the road. It's just what I'd expect from one of the most cosmopolitan cities in Zemuria. <laughs> right? I don't think anywhere in Erebonia is a match for this city when it comes to modern technology and orbital cars. <laughs> You're right. Hmm, you may be right, but the capital also has plenty of orbital cars. The main streets are always so congested. The only way to get anywhere is to take the trams. <laughs> Population wise, the capital is 880,000 and Crossbell is 530,000. In terms of modernization, war is a very technologically, yeah, technologically advanced city as well. Why are y'all bagging on her? Oh, but we're not trying to say Crossbell isn't great or anything. I'm simply saying if you compare the cities by one aspect at a time, why can't you just be impressed? This is the center of economic, international trade, and culture for the whole western half of Zamoria. We got the best technology in the world here, including the Orbal Net. Hey, we've even got Orbal air conditioning all over the place. <laughs> That's certainly impressive. It's true that not many places have implemented the Orbal Network. 
<laughs> what? Do you think I'm being childish? No, I think it's great. You're right, this place is special in terms of technology, economics, and history. Once we start going around, they'll understand soon enough. Good point. I'm looking forward to it. Hm. Anyway, don't we need to see the Governor General? We need to go to the Orcus Tower. Alright, let's head north to the Administrative District. Oh, they're just throwing us right there. Governor General's office. 250 arch. It's taller than I expected. I suppose this place must be quite important. Volume wise, Valflame Palace is bigger. But in terms of height, this building is the tallest in the world. Yeah, but I hear it has a ton of empty unused floors in it. I wonder why there are so many people running around here first thing in the morning, though. It's probably because of the inspection team. Oh, yeah. Most likely. They're to arrive just past noon, right? Yeah. We need to find out how this affects our special operations missions. Let's go talk with the Governor General. Can I can I go back real quick? No. Fine. I want to go explore Carl's Bell. <laughs> Preparations for our guests. So, this dude's got to be, dude or lady, got to be pretty important, right? Wow, this place is amazing. In terms of both technology and expense. It was built by the richest person in the world. The former president of Crossbow as well as the CEO of the International Bank. You are from the Thor's Military Academy branch campus, correct? Yes, we are class 7, special operations. I was told you'd be visiting. Please accompany me to the elevator. The governor general is waiting in his office on the 20th floor. And up we go. It's not my first time seeing it, but it's still breathtaking. I'm sure the view from the top is even more impressive. It certainly is something. There's no view quite like this in the Empire. Is that so? Crossbow's changed so much since this tower was built. Oh? Really? A mayor popular with the people declared our independence at an international conference. Then he went to war with both the Empire and the Republic. If he hadn't done all that, we'd still be... I see. My apologies, I neglected to do my research. <laughs> well, it's all in the past now. Let's hurry and go meet the Governor General. Yeah, let's go. The Governor General's room is through the second set of doors. Please proceed down the hall. Understood. You can see everything from here. I know, right? It's a nice way to see the whole city. Rena and the others were checked for security reasons afterward. They were finally led to the Governor General's office. Hard enough, Governor. Ah, yes. Do come in. <sighs> it's good to see you again. Excuse us. Yes, it's nice to see you both again, too. Though I think it's my first time meeting the other two. I am the Governor General of the Province of Crossbell, Rufus Alberea. It's a pleasure to meet the new Class 7 of Thor's branch campus. <laughs> it's been some time since I last saw you, but I can tell at a glance how different you look. You've definitely gotten taller, but more importantly, You've really it's matured. been a while. Thank you. Though I'd have to say Eusis has changed even more than me. Yes. So I hear. Speaking of, you seem to have changed as well. The little black rabbit. 
And you haven't changed at all, Governor General. My height is approximately the same as it's always been. Uh, Ali. So tactless. <laughs> Granted, your blunt manner of speaking hasn't changed. It seems you have some good friends now, though. It's an honor to meet you, Your Excellency. I am Kurt Vander, the second child of the Vander House. Ah, yes. Your father has helped me out a number of times in the past. It's unfortunate you didn't join the main campus, but I'm sure there are valuable opportunities to be had at the branch campus as well. Thank you. And you are... Una Crawford. Originally from the Crossbell Military Police Academy. I transferred to Thor's branch campus. <laughs> oh, I've heard about you. You're acquainted with First Lieutenant Orlando and Second Lieutenant Seeker, correct? Further, Major Revelt was the one who recommended you to the Academy. I'm sure you've gone through much lately, but I think you'll find your new school to be a good match for you. I believe it is a good blend of the perspectives of both Erebonia and Crossbell. Yes, I'll do my best. All right then, I'll make my report now. Very well. I pray to Ideos you find success. I'm sure you're already aware, but an inspection team will be visiting from the Imperial mainland. Despite the fact that we've raised our security level to maximum, I yet have my concerns. The society has been active in a cryptid a cryptid has suddenly appeared. Is that... what's a cryptid? I feel like I've heard the term before. Cryptids are extremely powerful monsters with mysterious powers. During the Civil War, a number of them appeared around the Empire. But they're showing up in Crossbell now? Indeed. It seems one was spotted just the other day, on the mountain path to the north. But I'm told this isn't the first time they've appeared in Crossbell. Have you perchance heard about them before, Yuna? Yes. I didn't know they showed up in the Empire, too, but... I heard a few of them appeared after the Declaration of Independence a year and a half ago. I see. But why would they reappear now? Could it have something to do with the society? Given their action in Sutherland, they should most definitely be our top suspects. I hope I can ask the branch campus to be on the lookout. Understood. I'll relay your message to the others. Do we need to investigate the cryptid on the mountain path as well? No. That one has already been defeated. I'd like for you to investigate other areas in which they were seen. Already defeated? Was it the Imperial Army's doing? No. A certain wanted fugitive took care of it. Ah! A wanted fugitive? Instructor Reen. Yeah. However, it wouldn't do to keep relying on a wanted man to clean things up for us. Therefore, I expect good news from all of you in regards to this task. Was it Lloyd? Was, was it potentially? Is he wanted right now? <laughs> and with that, I bid you all good luck, Ash and Chevalier, and members of the new Class 7. Or was it, um, maybe the Zephyrs? I don't know. Understood. After that, Reen and the others left Rufus to his preparations for the inspection team. Oh, before you go, a small bit of news from Lecter. It seems there's a possibility that society's witch is here in Crossbell. Really? They've traced the radio recordings back to somewhere in Crossbell. It could be a false lead, but the intelligence division is looking into it. Understood. I'll be on the lookout. She's a difficult woman to deal with, so do be careful. Also, it seems like you've been in contact with Eusis recently. Yeah, 
Mostly through letters and orbital messages. We haven't seen each other in a while since we've been so busy. I see. Hmm. Have you not talked with him? I haven't. We can speak about my younger brother when the opportunity presents itself. Though I'm sure we'll have much more to discuss besides just him. Crow. And then this bastard. Yeah. Understood. When the opportunity presents itself. What were we talking with General Rufus about? Was it about Eusis? Yeah, more or less. Eusis. He's Governor General Rufus's younger brother, correct? He's the acting head of the Alborea Dukedom, which oversees the Kruzen province. province. He's also a member of the Old Class 7. I see. Jeez, is everyone from the Old Class 7 some mega hotshot? Even that Elliot guy is the son of some bigwig in the Imperial Army. <laughs> I guess so. Though we may not measure up to the allies that Fugitive has help helping him. Th that's... I've been wondering. You seem to have an idea of who this Fugitive could be. <laughs> but of course. <laughs> he's the true hero Lloyd. of Crossbell. It is Lloyd. He beat down an evil cult and arrested the dictator mayor. Excuse me? Before the annexation, the Crossbell Police Department had a division called the Special Support Section. That's him! <laughs> the man we're talking about was its leader. He and the other members overcame so oh, much God. Together. I want to play this game so badly. And now, he's a fugitive in his own home. Lloyd Bannings. Instructor Randy was a member of the SSS too, actually. <sighs> Instructor Randolph worked alongside someone like that? So if this man is a fugitive, what has he done? Did he resort to terrorism in an attempt to free Crossbow? Don't even joke about that! I mean, sure, he's in hiding now. But he's just trying to help Crossbell get its freedom back. Not to mention, he's helping people in trouble and hunting down cryptids. There's absolutely no way someone like him is a criminal. He and his friends are the ones in the right. Uh, uh, he certainly seemed like a just person. Yeah, he couldn't be farther from being the dangerous fugitive they've painted him as. Wait, you both know him? Yeah, we fought him back before he was branded a fugitive. Each of us refused to back down, but in the end, he came out on top. The weight of what he was shouldering, his flawless teamwork. I told him it was a tie at the time, but looking back, there's no question I lost. Well, I beg to differ. <laughs> you get it, Instructor. There's no doubt he and the rest of the SSS are Crossbow's true heroes. Way more than a certain Chevalier I could name. Hmm. But that doesn't change the fact he's a criminal. <laughs> like I said, I don't see him as a criminal at all. Though the Governor General certainly seems to. I know you don't want to hear this, but don't even think about going to help him out, okay? I know that. Even Randy's holding himself back. So I give these special operations missions my all. Since Randy isn't allowed to go anywhere, I'll help lessen Lloyd's burden for him. You and I, you're certainly energetic all of a sudden. I'm glad to see you finally return to your usual self. <laughs> I agree. But that's strange. That's them. Oh, God. Lloyd Bannings. I heard he's on the run with that girl. Even if he gets help from the Divine Blade of Wind or Yin. How long can he keep running like this? <laughs> God, that's my question as well. So he killed one of the cryptids. And I guess... Dope. Lloyd over here being like a Batman. He's a... I want to play him. I want his character. I want to see that arc. He's he's a cool character. Well, fancy meeting you here, Reen. Huh? Machius. Oh. Yeah. Machius! <laughs> it's good to see you. Did you just get here? 
Oh, no. I arrived yesterday and came here first thing this morning. My inspection work starts today, just like your field exercises. My fellow inspectors and I need to go greet the Governor General. Ah, oh, I see. We just got back from meeting with him, actually. Good luck. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm ready for him. Hey, um... Is he... Yes, he is also a member of the Old Class 7, as well as the son of the Imperial Governor. Governor Regnitz's son? I don't know who that is, but he sure sounds like a big deal. Oh, you're that Black Rabbit girl. I'd heard you enrolled at the branch campus, but you've sure changed. Nice to meet you two as well. I'm Machius Regnitz. I'm here in Crossbell on business for the Government Accountability Inspectorate. <laughs> That's quite a mouthful. It's an organization that keeps check on the various governmental agencies from a judicial standpoint. Is that so? It sounds like you chose the hard road at the worst time. Allie, come on. Rude as usual. <laughs> no, she's absolutely right. We're in charge of making sure there's no wrongdoings in all the government agencies, including the Imperial government and the, gover the Governor General. Sheesh. It seems hard road was an understatement. Yet it's the one he chose all the same. Seems like you're doing well, all things considered. Yeah. At times it feels a bit like the walls are closing in. But it's the same for everyone these days, right? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Machias! We're clear to visit now! Oh, Reiner. Let me introduce you. This is my classmate, Reen, and these are his students. Oh man, for real? I've heard so much about you from Machias. <laughs> I'm flattered. We shouldn't keep the Governor General waiting. These guys are busy too, so let's talk some other time. Yeah, you're right. We'd better get ready. You're here for field exercises. I'm sure it'll be tough, but give it everything you've got. I'll give you a call tonight, Wayne. Good luck. See you later, Machias. You too. Farewell. Good luck. He's young, but he seems quite capable. I mean, he seems much more grounded than his superior. However, the inspectorate is full of talented people, so I'm sure that his superior is good, too. Yeah, but that would be hard for anyone. Our Class 7 predecessors all seem to be really challenging themselves, huh? I don't know how to say this, but I'm starting to feel really motivated. <laughs> yeah, they gotta live up to a big name. Okay, audit and ends. Uh, Epstein tech support. And we got the great crossbell bake off. Southern Crossbell City, the sandy shore of Lake Elm along the Ursula intersection, and then off the east of Crossbell. Okay. We're gonna get to actually walk around Crossbell now. Yep, go to the harbor. This is dope. She said this building couldn't be. I see this. 
all these references that, that you can't get unless you play the other game. Like, I'm not mad at them. Here I go. My turn. My I, turn. I do it's feel my like turn. It was a disservice. RF crossbow branch. I feel like it was a disservice on um, bringing out this game before a remake of the crossbow arc. These are the required. Um, Morgues in West Street. Crossbell East Street? Where am I at now? Alright, let's go to East Street then. Oh, alright, no, they want me to look around the Harbor District. That's fine. It's the Reinford Industry Group. Is Alicia here? She can't be here, right? Street. Sounds good. He's letting uh, Yuna do her thing, which is nice.
Is that the Bracer Guild building? Hey! The Divine Blade of Wind was affiliated with this branch. A lot of restaurants in this district. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, bracers are hmm? That's quite sign. a wide variety of interesting characters. Is that a sign? I, I don't know. What's up with that sign? Rain seemed to seem taken aback by it, though. Central Square. Yes, I want new equipment. Audits and ends. Um, that's an armor shop, right? If I ever did see one. Oh god, look at all that guns and stuff. It's dope. Should have brought the weapons first instead of boots. <laughs> but 
too late now. Well, maybe I shouldn't have bought these. Look how much it decreases our move. Oof. Um. Yeah, I don't. I may have made a huge mistake. I don't like how much it decreases our move. In the slightest. How much to sell that was back to him. Oh, this dude's a rip off. 10,000 to buy him, and he's gonna get two. Straight rip off. Go to the Orbal factory, and then I can probably um figure out from there on selling some uh, some elements. win this time okay so where's my where's the armory right here I want to grab those uh, those weapons no I didn't mean it this one damn I probably can't buy all of them uh, I'm gonna buy. Oh, I can buy all of them. Okay. Dope. 
I wonder if I can upgrade them as well. Let's head back to Genten. Find out. Can we do it here? No, we can't do it here. Dang it. You think we could do it at the armory, but he doesn't, right? Oh, or did I just miss that? 